Hello guys, so today we're going to continue with the Understanding Tactics series. Uh, we're going to use 4213. Uh, in this part 3, we're going to go against 352. 352 is basically a variation of 442, which uh, we go against in part 2. Okay, so 442, uh, we have numerical advantage, basically uh, something like this. Alright, so we have 3 center midfielders against two center midfielder this means uh when using 442 they have to play very compact against 433 uh, which makes the wing area uh, free for the wingers and the fullback all right so to counter this 442 can be played as 352 which means they have five players instead that way it's going to be 3 against 3 when playing against 4-3-3 three, three. that way the wide midfielder can stay out wide here to close down the wider area okay so they don't have to play compact formation all right so it's kind of like that all right let me reset this so because of this uh, it makes things a bit harder for 433. Okay, so the main idea here 352 is going to block you from going through the midfield here. That way, the center backs can be can mark the wingers and the forward, the three forwards here. That way, it's going to be a one on one battle. Alright, instead of one having a free spot basically Whereby when you have here So it's going to be numerical advantage Because it's 4 against 3 here But you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Alright, so 7 against 6 players for your build up Where one of this player cannot do an anything much to help this guy here So instead of having this bring one guy forward to have 3, 5, 2 and go 1v1 alright so it's going to be 7 against 7 during the build up where all these 3 center backs will mark all the forwards alright so it's going to be like this and then CF here, CF here and something like that so it's 1v1 situation okay so that's the advantage of using tree at the back where you can mark all of the players and one more advantages of using 352 instead of full back here 532 uh, you can mark here uh, if the ball get past this uh, midfielder here then this wing back can drop down and form a five at the back again so it's it, it's it is a bit versatile compared to playing a straight five three two formation so use three five two instead of five three two okay so during defense usually uh three five two will not press that high usually they will try to uh maintain their midfield line here making it hard for you to break through all right so Using 4, 2, 1, 3 is quite good because you can play at the back here. So it's going to be like a 6 against 2. Okay. These two can still come forward, but usually they will try to stay here. Alright. So you can just dribble close here, making uh, some passes around, and then you can try to launch a long ball forward. All right, because there's a lot of space here. All right. So the main idea when using 433 against 352 is you want to exploit this area here, the wing area. Okay. Let me just All right. So you want to exploit this area. So just pass the ball around until you spot uh, a good opportunity for a pass. Then you can do a long boy like that. Skip all this midfield here. No need to dribble pass through them and then from here you can do a cross or you can dribble past the center back it's a 1v1 situation or you can do a cutback to the CF or you can wait for the full back to run forward and then you can pass to him and wing back drop down here 
right? So you can pass to him, then you can cross, you can cut back to the wingers again, then cut back to the middle, wait for the center midfielder here to come forward. So it's kind of like a similar situation as against 4-4-2, attack through the wing, or cross to the middle again, try to shoot or go through the other side, then cross again or cut back again. All right. So it's very straightforward tactic, similar against 4-4-2, but uh, a little bit different approach in the build-up whereby you have to uh, go through uh, the midfield line here. All right. Oh. Then skip forward using the uh, long ball or you can use uh, your full back try to drag the wing back here and then try to pass to the winger here all right so that way it's going to be 1v1 here if not then the wing back will drop down here then it will be a 2v1 battle it'll be hard for you to pass through the defender so try to use your full back to drag the wing back to you before passing the ball to the winger then you can try to use the whole R2 to let the ball through then you can get past the center back try to get into a good position for a shot all right or try to drag the center back here then you can pass to the center forward and shoot all right so let's see some example in the game
Alright, that's it for today's video. I hope you find it useful. Help with the YouTube algorithm by liking, commenting, and subscribing. I really appreciate the support. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.